my sister-in-law is the hospice nurse and she feels that you know just using the morphine and putting the patient into a morphine coma is sufficient relief what, what would you say why medical aid in dying is better for for patients than doing that i, I guess i would address that that you know for many patients it, it's not about good death or bad death and um, you know, simply being put into a coma by taking lots of morphine. It, it's about d having a death that they want um, that, you know, often th that they know they're dying, but they want a death, you know, with family and rituals that are important to them and at their, in their home and um, before they enter that kind of never, never land of being sedated and unaware. Um, they know that could be coming, but that's something they actually want to avoid. Um, that, that, you know, we talk a lot about death being part of life. And I think that's what often medical aid in dying is. It's somebody with a terminal illness know that death is near, but they want to design their death that's beautiful for them. Um, that that death is they're still the same person they've always been and they uh, can celebrate life with their family and friends and rituals that are important to them. Are, are there specific types of uh, diseases that cause deaths that would not be well managed by the morphine? I think there's definitely in, in, in lots of different diseases that you know, there is suffering and there's pain, pain, for example, that cannot be well controlled, despite our best efforts with all of the medications we have in our arsenal to try to control pain. And I, I think that can be true of lots of different types of suffering. And certainly, Laurie mentioned you know, ex the existential suffering. I, I think, you know, often uh, the greatest source of suffering for a lot of patients uh, is the effect that it has on them as a person, that they're no longer the person they used to be. Their, uh, their self is being threatened. Um, and, you know, there, there's very little medication that's going to relieve that kind of suffering. And, and that suffering is, in my mind, is just as real as any physical suffering. And to kind of pretend that suffering, if it isn't measurable and objective, then it's not real. I, that's just uh, unacceptable in my mind. So I think there's lots of forms of suffering that we just cannot control, both, both physical, emotional, spiritual, and ex again, existential types of suffering. 